Marava friends, Visual Studio 2022 on VM with Failsafe. So if you check the official Microsoft documentation, it says, please note, the following are not supported. 32-bit and ARM operating systems, uh, these server additions, and it says running in virtual machine environment without a full Windows operating system. I don't know what that means. Uh, VMs have full operating systems. Uh, and okay, application virtualization solutions, says as Microsoft App V for Windows or third-party app virtualization technologies. So in our case, we are going to use QEMU, right? So we have a QEMU Windows installation, and if you don't know how to do it, I'll put a link in the description for a window. I am going to install Visual Studio with an offline installation. We could use this, download all, and then install, but it says it is not designed to use this installation on a different machine. So we'll use a command line, and the first step is to download the bootstrapper. So we'll download the bootstrapper, and if we come down, then we have to create a local cache. So we'll copy the command, and this bootstrap is for the community edition. So if I open up command prompt, I'll paste the command that I copied there. And first I'll CD into the C directory where I have copied, copied the bootstrapper. So CD there, and I'm then gonna paste. Since I'm downloading the community edition, I'm going to change enterprise to community. And the rest remains same. So I'm saying VS community, please make a layout in the folder C local VS cache and add Microsoft.NET Manage Desktop and web, uh, workload for web. So we can make web and desktop applications with the .NET framework. So I hit enter and the local cache setup is starting. This will download all the files required for you to develop .NET web applications on your local machine for internet and web. So yes. This is the layout that will come up and you saw that a folder with local VS layout cache was created and now it's going to download the bits required local VS cache. It's going to download the bits required for the installation to continue to installation to begin actually. So let me get this command prompt out of the way and I am going to zoom in so that I can read all the things that are coming on screen. Uh, I think I leave this to Mr. Beast. Okay. So um, we, we can see the progress going on and after some time we are still at 41% and now we are done. So we'll press the any key on a keyboard to continue and now if we open up our C drive to find the local VS cache. So I'm gonna check the size by hitting Alt Enter and the properties window will come up where it says 4.09 GB. So all the files required for us to install Visual Studio to support .NET web and desktop development have been downloaded. So, and this is the win version of Windows I'm running, Windows 11 Pro for workstations. So this is a supported, but I'm going to install it in a VM, which Microsoft said is not supported. Okay, now to install it, I'm going to copy this command again. Now we have downloaded the cache. We are going to install from the cache. So I copied the command there and I'm going to open another terminal, <laughs> Windows terminal. And again, USC prompt. All right, I am going to paste that command there again. First, let me go to the C drive where we have downloaded the local cache. And okay, no LS, DIR, okay, I'm on Windows, not in Linux. And I'm just gonna change the VS Enterprise there since we are on, we are installing the community edition, which is the free edition and that is what all I can afford. <laughs> all right, so change it to community and it says, you see the switch there, it says no web. This means it is not going to download any additional files from the internet. So this is good for people who have a limited metered connection and who just want, they know they just want desktop and uh, desktop and web development. So I hit enter and this installer is starting up. And by the way, you can choose any, uh, you can choose any workload for Visual Studio depending upon your, your requirements. I mean, if you want to do Python, you, you want to do uh, machine learning, Microsoft has workloads for that, but I just wanted to install a basic uh, .NET web and desktop development, so I choose these. So it says when you when you should do install. Oh my God, uh, Visual Studio installer. I'm going to click on next, and once it starts, this menu should go away, and something else should come up. It says downloaded, and and by the way, it says downloaded and installed, but uh, it's not downloading anything from the internet. Okay, this menu will come up. 
and you can choose any other workloads node python mobile but i just want as i said i just wanted whatever i have i have and i've already downloaded it in the local cache so i'm just going to say install nothing else and we'll wait for some time for this installation to finish and yes it took some time so right now i'm just going to uncheck start after installation because i said i am going to create a fail safe visual studio development environment okay uh, this is an archaic fail safe environment uh, because the way to go is github but even though if i had github i would still use the way i'm just going to show you so it's been installed and we can modify launch and if i see more we can repair uninstall import configuration export configuration and update settings ah, i don't want to do this and if you see right now in this vm machine i just have one drive and all if i start visual studio now i can only save files in my c drive but let's say my my c drive fails what happens then all my project files are going to be lost so i'm just going to show you a fail safe way and it's a very crude rudimentary uh, archaic way the way to go is github but even though if i had github i will do this and you can i mean all devs out there can bring out the brick bats to uh, attack me with showing the show i mean you're showing you this 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 archaic method but anyways so here's my here's my disk where i have installed windows 11 and what i showed you right now so but this is not like this is not fail safe so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a disk and i'm going to create a, another disk and i'm going to store all my project files into that disk so i in qmu or in invert manager i'm just going to add a volume and i'm going to name the volume um, vs very imaginative imaginatively vs 2022 and the format i'm going to choose as raw not QCOR because i don't want snapshots and raw is has the best performance and you see i already have only have 20 gb left so i'm going to allocate 10 gb and i don't want to allocate the entire volume now so i'm going to click on finish and i am going to add this drive to the windows 11 vm that i installed my visual studio on okay now this is has attached okay i need to save this now this is attached to the existing uh, machine that i have and i'm just going to start up now now once this guy comes up we have a machine where we have an additional disk where we can save our visual studio files so as as soon as you open disk management you see you must initialize that disk and hawkeye viewers will see we have a vs code there in d i tried something it didn't work so this is the second way i'm going to show you okay so we initialize with this but this is unallocated so we need to right click and initialize it again we say simple volume next we're going to allocate all the size all the space and e and the volume label i'm going to give very imaginatively again is vs 2022 why am i doing this i want to save all my visual studio project files in this separate disk not on the drive where i have installed windows 11 because it can fail my vm can fail so i need a fail safe method and that is what i'm showing you okay so this is the different drive i have and now it's time to fire up visual studio 2022 so this is the first screen and visual studio is starting up guys very good i'm just going to make up task manager so you can see the usage there and i'm going to go with dark start visual studio preparing for first use and it took a long time yes okay so this screen is here and i'm going to start a new project to, just to show you that this is a fully functional ins installation of visual studio 2022 so it will load the project templates that we have and i am going to go with a console app and i'm going to name it a very imaginatively hikmat ustad <laughs> test and this is the important look part where i save the project files in my e drive so .NET 6.0 this is fine and click on create all right now very quickly we'll have a basic layout of a project and i'm just going to add my two cents to this extremely exquisite piece of code that we have it says hello world so i'm just going to change it a little bit i'm going to add what let's say uh okay the slash r slash n i'm hikmat ustad hello world and i'm going to say console.readline so it doesn't stop one doesn't disappear once it's done so i hit control f5 and you see there hello world hikmat ustad 
Yes, so we have a fully functional installation of Visual Studio in a VM with failsafe that Microsoft said was not supported. So guys, I mean, you see this, we have our, all our project files in the E drive. And I just wanted to stress the point that your, your windows may get corrupted or you may lose access to this VM. I mean, QAMU, I mean, some, anything can happen. Okay. So what happens? Is your IO project is going to fail? No, 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 no. We, I'm going to show you a fail safe So this is the disk where I have stored all my project files, my multi-billion dollar projects. Okay. So let's say this installation gets corrupted. So all I, we need to do is fire up some different Windows installation that we have just to recover our project files. So I'm going to attach that disk to this Windows 10 installation. So click on manage and just attach that same disk to this, uh, to this Windows 10 installation or you can find, make another Windows 11 installation. So, okay, now bus type IO, word IO, cache mode, I'm going to check none. And oh, it's already in use by Windows 11 release. So we'll, I'll release it from there and I'll be back. And now I have released it from there. So let's try once more and we are on Windows 10 and this time cache mode none. I think we should be good to go. We attach that same disk here. And if we fire up this machine, this is a Windows 11, 10 machine on QEMU and well, this starts up. Yes, we will see if we can access those project files. If we fire up disk management, we see our disks over there. And let's see. Yes, you see there? Hikmat Ustad, all the project files are here. So failsafe Visual Studio 2022 on the VM, which Microsoft said was not supported. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you very, very soon.